Hey, what's up, guys? Here, remember? Obviously, it's over in Calumet. And it's been a long time, you know. My hair's gone a lot longer. I need glasses. I'm a new me. And I just got back from seeing the new horror movie, Us. Us is a new horror movie directed by, well, written directed by Jordan Peele. And it stars uh, Lupita Neon and some other people. Oh, and Tim fucking Heidecker. I did not know that. I really did not know he was in this movie. I don't remember if he was in the trailer. I don't remember, at least it's not even that big part of the movie. I just say it's Tim Heidecker in a straightforward horror movie. Which, um, to get this out of the way, this is just more straight horror movie than Get Out. Get Out more comedic elements. This is, has some comedic relief, but nothing, nothing too big that would make it a horror comedy. Or even a, anything like that. Now, it's weird to think, right, that the half of the creative for the team, the decent, uh, decent cars of the show, Key and Peel, is now not only just a hard director, a Academy Award winning hard director, which is also a weird thing. The Academy Awards don't really look at horror movies in such a very light. Kind of the same with the comic book movies. It's like when a comic book movie gets nominated, that's when you know it's good. Because the old. It's like there's a disconnect between those audiences, and but the horror film going crowd loves it. I think horror has a bad rep in the critics community. It's kind of like how Cindy Prescott said in Scream, they all see him as a big rested bimbo who can't act, who should be running for the front door instead of going upstairs. And even most foreign horror, even the great horror movies. Even back then, they didn't get good reviews or any Academy Awards. Like classics like just Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween. Halloween got more, more of a slide than it got more side than Friday the Thirteenth. But so like they were on Elm Street, all the classics they reviewed more in the audiences that resonate more. So I think about Get Out. I think Jordan Peele was able to balance between being an effective horror movie and also saying something about race and race relations. Now this movie doesn't really have anything uh, to that degree. Uh, it's more of a straightforward psychological horror movie. There's not a lot of red to read into it uh, unless you want to do the whole oh, well, uh, sits that are were on enemy but I don't think this is a cool idea Jordan Peele had. Especially I think if this is around looking it was a Twilight Zone was a good, was something that he gives inspiration, and the girl in the mirror. I don't really understand the plot. The plot is there's this, uh, well it starts out in 1986, well, and uh, this girl gets sees her own doppelganger, and is haunted by ever since. So, after a while, this family, a couple, let's see, there's the dad, Gabe, Adele, Jason, and the girl. The daughter forgot her name. It's, it's, I barely saw his name or forget names. Terrible. It's because they didn't really say it. I mean, Gabe's name is said so many times. It's, I, I just hammered in the name's Gabe. Anyway, um, so I think the first 20 minutes of this movie, except for opening scene, the opening scene was very well shot, very well directed. This movie is beautifully shot. Um, Frost is a cinematographer for that. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But he did a great job. Uh, the opening is really great, really stark, really dark. And when it starts raining, it's really nice. All the, all those tracking, all the shots of the little girl rolling in. Other than that, the first 20 minutes, so it's a little lame. And that's where most horror movies, they don't really got to until it's like the 20, 23rd, 23 minute mark when stuff starts happening. I mean, my favorite horror movie of all time, Evil Dead. That's probably some of the most boring 20 minutes of all time before it escalates into what it is. Another good thing to take note is uh, that I think Lupita Nyong's acting career has gotten kind of more mainstream ever since Soldier's of Slave. Soldier's of Slave was an Academy darling. After that, she did Star Wars, then Black Panther. She started doing all this more audience driven thing more than a critic driven thing. So we get to know those characters more. Um the mother, Gabe, he's kind of a he's a fun character I think. 
Not that dad try to be too cool. Then he doesn't think he's that cool. Hey, it's even out of here my dad. Anyway, it's kind of my feeling like that. It'll go on this beach trip. And on the beach trip, the Jason, the, the son, encounters a uh, beach bum kind of, uh, which is weird because we think we saw him be killed in an ambulance before, but he's there. I probably want to doppel into another person's sister on screen. So, that day in the beach, retreats for a beach home. And, um, that's when the son notices a group of family of the doppelgangers. And the doppelgangers, though, creepily, they are pretty creepy in this scene. Uh, they break into the house and kill the captive. And for some reason, they let the little girl leave. Uh, Abraham, I think is his name, the doppelganger of Abe, Gabe, is chased us after him. He goes into the boat and all this goes to the boat. Oh, I didn't write about Tim Decker. Tim Heidecker in this movie. I don't know if he's out of place. It's just so we're seeing Tim Heidecker in something that is in comedy. I mean, the stuff I've seen him in, they're all comedic. I mean, I'm not that big a fan of his. I have friends who love his seminaric stuff. And I think the most serious movie there was a comedy, of all things. Yeah, it's just a good one, too. Yeah, check that out. Well, another thing. Mm. This movie, I think the only thing that's, everything about it is great. The filmmaking's good, the acting's great. To my decker, gave, gave a decent performance. They didn't ham it up or anything. Everyone, everyone's good. I think Jordan Peele has, one of the strongest is, is his directing of actors. I think the thing is, when you're an actor yourself, you know how to direct an actor a little bit better than, let's say, a director who's been classically trained in directing. Who maybe there's always a good scene, there's always a suspenseful scene. The only thing I have to say is that the main villains, well, the doppelgangers, they get a little, I don't, they're not as terrifying as you want them to be. They're just kind of creepy looking, uh, and they're not very efficient, I would say. I think it's just because they're main characters, but. When it's someone who's not a main character, they're very aggressive and they're able to kill someone quickly. But when it's one of my characters, they're like, they for some reason hold back. They die pretty easily. And they're not that menacing. I don't know what problem that was in the movie. I mean, they could have been a lot creepier. I mean, uh, the creepiest one was a kid. It was mostly because he makes noises. These weird animal noises that freak, freak people out, kind of. Uh, another thing is... Uh, I've seen a lot of nerd things, but it's how it keeps track of things. So they're a captive, they escape, they arrive to Josh, right? It's a Mydecker and his wife, and you guys they're all been murdered by the doppelgangers. That's when they fight back, and they realize on the news that these doppelgangers have, there's more of them, not just them, and they've been attacking people. So now it's up to them to survive the night. Try to get away, get away from this. That's why we're getting to our spoilers, and I'm not into spoilers. I will say there's a twist that kind of makes sense, but it really doesn't. I don't know. I mean, I have to watch it again. Maybe there's hints of it, but uh, because of the twist. I kind of feel like Jordan Peele kind of thought, oh, this would be a cool idea, but it doesn't really flesh it out that much. I mean, it doesn't really add that much to the story because once it's revealed, it's kind of brushed off. It was right at the end of the movie. We don't have a lot of time to linger on it. It's just kind of like, oh, so that's that's different. I didn't expect that. You well, know, you could kind of do. But um, it has to do with the main character, Leon. I don't know if they're saying it right. I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. I've been saying it right. Yeah. Yeah, with the whole movie, it was it was good. It was good. Um, I was see it by myself, as I see most movies. Audience reacted pretty well. There were some laughs. There was a lot of gasping. For a horror movie, this is pretty tame. The, there's the violence. I think it was more suspenseful. I think it's just a horror movie. On 
on fucking Google is from a mystery thriller more than horror. And then again, Google says Super Troopers 1 and 2 as mystery, mystery thriller movies and not a comedy, so I can't really take that too seriously. All in all, I think I recommend the movie. Uh, see it with friends. Don't be like me. Don't be a friendless loser like me. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think it was good. Uh, Jordan Peele, to think that this guy is not only just a hard director now, but an Academy Award winning hard director. It's crazy. I hope, I hope he makes more movies. Uh, the. Out of the two, his two movies that he's directed so far from his directorial debut, uh, Get Out, I think Get Out was a better movie. This was a more scarier movie, I would say. A lot bigger budgeted. Um, but I think Get Out has that nice touch of comedy horror. I was trying to say something. This movie is just a straight up horror movie. Without much to say, that adds, well, I'm not sure. Though being your worst, just being your worst enemy is kind of a thing done in my cinema. The whole doppelganger thing is not that original either. I've been kind of done with other horror movies. And what I thought would have been cool is they don't really mimic the moves of the people or they don't really think like them. They're just these things that exist in their thing. Other than that, uh, yeah, it's a good movie. I'll watch it again, probably not so anytime soon. Uh, yeah, that's great to be back, guys. Uh, but I think I have another video coming up. It's going to be a surprise. It's just out of nowhere. It's, it's going to be, there's nothing dictating. It's not really, I'm doing this thing. Uh, on my website, I think I said, I forgot what I was going to do. I was going to do Evil Dead movies, but I will do them probably later. But right now, I'm going to do this different retrospective thing going on. That's gonna be a surprise. And the only thing I can give you a kind of hint what it is, it's only being made because of a movie that came out in February, I think. Yeah, February. Yeah. So. Yeah. Alright, I mean, subscribe, like the video, comment below on how you thought of this movie, and I just cut my hair. I say no, but I see you guys say. Uh. That's about it. Yeah. I'd say watch it. I mean, if you don't like Get Out, if you don't like Jordan Peele's horror, I think you might not like this one, but you might give it a shot. It's not as it's not as scary as I wanted it to be, but it's not dumb. It's not like a dumb horror movie where all the characters are very confident and everyone knows what they're doing. And yeah, there's some chills and thrills to be had. Twist and turns, like Sally once said. But uh, yeah, all right. See you guys later.